Hello everybody, welcome back, How Now Videos. We're gonna take a look at how to make a parking lot in Revit. Let's get into it. What I have here is a just quick massing model of the building. And we're in the site floor plan over here on the left. So we're looking at the uh, site plan. And what I did is I just backed off these elevation markers a little bit to allow a little more room to design here. And I went over to the massing and site tab. In this massing and site tab, I could create a top of surface. Uh, based on a topographic map if I wanted to illustrate the ground. But if I'm just kind of doing this simply, I can just place where all my parking components would be and I can create a building pad as a floor on here uh, to create like the concrete. So uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of outline where the parking spaces are. But once again, you create that building pad with a floor material of concrete. Now I clicked on parking space, so massing site, parking component, and under here, I could drop down and I can place all different kinds of parking components. 90 degrees being like a straight shot into the parking spot. And this is your standard 9 foot by 18 foot deep uh, parking spot. Now, right here up next to the building, I might want to save some room for some handicap accessible parking spaces. So I'm going to back this off a little bit. And I can see my dimensions from the building, so I'm about 40 feet away. I'm going to go and create one there. And uh, I don't know the code. If you hit spacebar, you can flip it. Uh, I don't know the code for the... Uh, like the amount of spaces that you need as far as handicap spaces from the uh, from the building and, and based on the amount of spaces, what percentage you need. So you might want to look that up. I'm just going to go and place in a couple. And then what I can do here is once I have my spacing, I can go and do an array command and I can say, all right, I'm going to want, let's say like 10 spots uh, going down this path and I'm going to move it to the second. So from here over to here, uh, so from one corner to the other in the direction I want to go, I'm going to say I want 10. And I saved a little bit of time here by uh, making two rows, right? So I have one uh, path of traffic for cars. And I just, I think I spaced that around uh, 10 feet apart. I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, no, 20 feet. So I gave like 10 a lane. So that's like a two-way two, two -way, uh, parking spot. Now, if we wanted to do like one way, I would go about maybe 10 feet in width and uh, angle those spots in the direction of the one way. Now, an island is something that you can add. Uh, a viewer had asked a question about making this video, and so that's where this content's coming from, viewer question. And they had particularly said, like, the islands are giving them trouble. And this viewer's gonna be really excited to see that Revit already has that built in. So I'm gonna go to inserts, we're gonna load a family, and we just have to find the site folder here and say open. When we open that up, under parking, we'll find that there's some different islands here, right? There's some double-sided islands. We have island two, island one, uh, some different thicknesses and depths. So I'm going to go to island two here. I'm going to say open. And then I have to find it under my families. Under site, I expand that open. Expand open parking island two. And then once again, it's also oriented. Click and drag in. And so these are the 90 degree islands. So if I zoom in, pop those into place and if your screen doesn't look exactly like mine I have the realistic mode on so under here I went to realistic and I pop that on you also go to hidden line wireframe whatever else you need to do now in 3d we can then see that we're starting to generate these parking spots in the same folder so I'm gonna go back up to site let's load in some handicap spots and put those right up against the building so insert, load family, find the site, parking, and let's go and find the American Disabilities Act parking space. Already has the area off to the side, and we can uh, mirror that if we have to. We can even see the arrows there. And let's go with that ADA spot, open. And it's going to be in the same folder under site, or it should be. And if it's not, maybe I'm missing parking. There we go. There's a new folder to open parking. My bad. Um, let's go under parking space. And let's go to uh, an eight foot aisle in this case, a little extra wide. And we'll put that right up against the building, but we also need to leave a little bit of room for sidewalk. So I'm going to place one in there. I'm going to do the same thing with the array command. I'm going to take that and just go to the array. We're going to go 
let's just say four spaces. We're going to move to the second, grab the left corner, snap it to the right corner, and we're going to consistently make those spots and hit enter and escape. And then now you have your accessible spots. We can put the symbol for handicap parking on there, same way, load family, site, parking, parking symbol ADA, open. And with that, we're going to find that. Here it's under site, so you might have to bounce back and forth between those two. Click and drag in and place that in the center of where you want it to be. So I can click on that symbol, and we can then change what we're referring to by clicking and dragging. Remember, this spot was 9 by 18. So we can use that as a reference point, so 4 foot 6 inches to find its center. And then by 18, this is 9 foot to the center, so I like where that is. It's centered. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do an array. I have my spot. I can say move second. And we can say that there's going to be five of them. And I can still reference the one corner of the spot to the other corner of the spot. And then now it's centered throughout. Maybe I don't need that last one there, so I can say actually I want four, enter, and then now we're good. Click off of it, escape. Now we have our handicap spots, we have our parking, we're all good, we have our building. Let's take a look at that in 3D to admire it, and that looks great. Don't forget to save and subscribe. Also, don't forget to comment. A lot of my videos now are coming from viewer suggestions and, and questions, and I always get to answering them. It might take a couple days, but uh, more than appreciate it. Please help me grow this channel by sharing the video as well. Thank you and have a great one.